Terrell, attorneys for Carlisha Hood say she will publicly speak for the first time later on this morning at a news conference. It's also when her attorneys plan to present a lawsuit. It comes after the Cook County State's attorney dropped all criminal charges against her and her 14-year-old son. The charges stemming from an incident at a hot dog stand on June 18th on the southwest side. Police say Hood, seen here in the pink dress, was arguing with a man in line. That's when police say her 14-year-old son came in. We have blurred his face since he is a minor and is no longer charged with any crime. As he's watching from the doorway, police and witnesses say the man arguing with his mother, who has been identified as 32-year-old Jeremy Brown, repeatedly punches Hood in the head. The attack was captured on this cell phone video, which went viral after it was shared by a local activist. We froze the video, though, before the impact of the punch. Police say Hood's 14-year-old son shot Brown repeatedly as he was hitting his mother, shooting him in the back. Authorities say Brown ran out and Hood did too. The son is still shooting. Brown died. Then Hood and her son were later, later charged with first degree murder. But yesterday, the Cook County State's attorney dropped all charges, saying in a statement that based upon the facts, evidence and the law, we were unable to meet our burden. What this leaked video did was it, it really flipped the prosecutor's view of the case. Before seeing this, they clearly were of the view that the defendant was the aggressor. Now they are of the view that the person they had formerly seen as the victim was the aggressor. Hood's attorneys say she has always been the victim and that the wrongful charges have caused great harm to her and her family's reputation. So a lawsuit will be filed today. That news conference is scheduled to happen at 9 o'clock this morning in the Bronzeville neighborhood where, again, she will speak. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.